And back to baseball. For decades, Native Americans gathered at Progressive Field on opening day to demonstrate against our ball club's name and logo. With the debut of the Guardians this year, some of the city's native Cleveland Indians are finally welcoming the start of baseball season. Mark Namick spoke with a baseball fan who is also a member of the group behind all the protests. Progressive Field opened in 1994, and every year on opening day, Native Americans showed up to protest the name and the logo, Chief Wahoo. Change the name, change the name. Eliminate racism from the game. This is the first time without it. It's almost as much a part of the day as the opening pitch. What does it feel like to not have that here this year? It was a huge relief to know that our efforts can now go to our communities. Jesse Vallejo, who is part Yaqui and Diné Indian, is secretary of the Committee of 500 Years of Dignity and Resistance, which advocates for indigenous cultures through education and activism. It's been behind opening day protests for decades. We will never have to organize and protest again that our efforts and our, our livelihoods can go into other things. The committee hopes to spend more time convincing high schools to drop names and logos that are racist stereotypes and misappropriate their Native American culture. I think that we still have some way to go when it comes to culture and respect. She and her family are baseball fans, but struggle to support the old team. If this is truly an American pastime, that we have been forgetting about the true Americans in celebrating this game of baseball by not recognizing that this name was racist all along. They lined up to buy Guardians gear the first day it went on sale. Definitely feel proud to share community with people who go to see these baseball games and feel safe to take our children there, knowing that they will also not experience some of the hateful things that have happened to our elders in the past. An opening day win doesn't matter. Knowing that we can all celebrate together. Mark Namick. That's the victory here. Three news.